Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about how to practice slowly for your fast music. The video is going to split into two parts, why you need to practice slowly and how to do it. For me, there are two reasons for why you need to practice slowly. The first reason is that you have more time to listen. When you play the music slower, you have more time to listen back to what you played. Not only you can listen more clearly to ingrain the music in your brain, but you can judge what you played better. Are you playing evenly? Are you playing with the right tone? Are you playing with the right phrasing? The slower you play, the more details you can discover in your playing. The second reason is that you're less likely to make mistakes. Most of you know that practice are for repetitions, build up muscle memory, and good habits. And for me, it's also very important to avoid bad repetitions and bad habits because those are very time consuming to get rid of. If you start off with a tempo that's too fast for you to play, it can be inefficient because you might end up spending time undoing the mistakes that you made in your bad fast repetitions. Therefore, you should start off playing slowly. Very easy concept. The slower it is, the easier it is to play, the less likely you are going to make mistakes. And after you get enough good slow repetitions in, you can then speed it up. Here's my suggestion on how to practice under tempo. First, start at the tempo that you can play everything right, and then use a metronome to practice as soon as possible so that you can build up the sense of pulse and rhythm. At the half tempo is usually a good place for me to start. Really pay attention to how even you can play, the tone quality, the phrasing, the articulations, and also how you feel. Do you feel calm and under control? Your muscles need to be relaxed to be able to move fast. Do you feel confident that you can play the music again without mistakes? The more details you can get it right at the slow tempo, the easier you can speed up the music. Here is the ending of the Immersement Fantasy played at the half tempo. <laughs> After you are able to play the music very well at the slow tempo, you can then speed it up. Increase the tempo gradually. About 10% of the tempo is usually reasonable. Of course, the rate of speeding up depends on your technical level and the difficulty of the music. And when you get faster, the music becomes more difficult and you might want to decrease the rate of change to 5%. And this is another reason why you should use a metronome. Only with the metronome, you are able to execute a precise Gradual change, such as to pinpoint a tempo change that's 5 or 10%. You can also alternate between fast and slow tempo. You do this after the learning stage. You play the music at a fast tempo to get a feel of how it feels at the performance level, and then you slow it down to zoom in on the details of the music. Alternate between the two tempos. Be patient, be realistic, and eventually you can set up a system that works the best for you. And eventually you get to this. to practice fast music other than playing it slow. In a later video, I'm going to present you alternative ways to practice technical music, so stay tuned.
and that's it for the video. Happy practicing!